Alrighty folks, welcome and bienvenue to the second video that I've been punting out. Um, this one is Loose Toys Box of Toot. Ah, beautiful, nice cup of tea. Um, yeah, so we'll kick off. These are basically three or four job lots that I've acquired um, on eBay. Now, a few of them are handy bits for me. I bought the, the lots to get bits to then resell the bits I don't want to get my money back to get the bits I want for free type thing-esque effort. Now I'm not sure if that'll work out. It has done in the past for me quite well, but this time there's a lot of dross. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll persevere. Anyway, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Right, we'll start off with the Thundercats. Uh, we picked up this guy. Now I already own this man, he was in the lot. Um, I can never remember his name. Is it Vulture Man? Voltar? Something like that. Um, his action is good to go. Um, they're all covered in this kind of sticky stuff. Um, I think I might have to bung them in the wash. I might do that after this video. Uh, but there's kind of Vulture Man. I, I, do you know, I'm just, I'm in love with these again. I fell out of love with Thundercats and I sold a lot of mine and now I've pretty much got them all again. And they're just so nice to display. They're big and colourful. And just awesome. So, yep, that's um, Vulture Man or Voltar or whatever. Uh, then what I did need was this guy. Unfortunately, he's got some sort of rattling effect. So that's him. His action works as well. He's got the running action. Run away, run away. Being chased by a cat. Uh, a big mouse. Mouse Man or something. Um, he's, he's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, pretty chuffed with him. He needs a wash, but he's in really nice nick, apart from the rattly, uh, rattling noise, and he's, it's almost like he's covered in some kind of sticky goo. I'm not sure, maybe something leaked in the box of toys for the previous owner, but anyway, there's Mouse Man. Pretty cool. Uh, then I picked up this guy. Now, I have a few of this figure, has to be said, um, the Samurai Chap. His action is a kind of a, a twisty motion. I have to get his arms up a bit for this. Yeah, there you go. It's a little bit dodge on this guy, I have to say. It goes one way and then it's like, yeah, 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 come on, come on. It doesn't go the other way. Um, but basically I bought it for the helmet. I need the helmet. The head's a bit chipped and a bit a bit knackered. Um, in dire need of a wash. I mean, it's just really sticky and horrible. So, yep, that's him. Um, I got, sit down, just sit down. There you go. Needs a rest after all that twisting. Uh, so, yeah, I got this helmet. And I got a sword as well. Unfortunately, it's been chewed at the end. It's a bit, bit annoying, but still, I've got a weapon and a helmet, and they are pretty hard to come by. The weapons for these guys. These one, these weapons are not too bad, but for these two, hmm, gonna have to spend a pretty penny for them, I think. But anyway, that's that. Um, I also got another guy I didn't have, which was the original Mumra before he turns into the big beastie motherfucker. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I needed him. I have his staff somewhere. So he's pretty much complete then. He needs a wash as well, but still cool. I love the Thundercats, man. I'm right into them at the moment. Uh, and then I've got Mumra, another Mumra. Um, I already have this chap. I got him in my last video, actually, or the video before, um, with his helmet and both his swords and his dug. Uh, but this time, uh, he just came with his headdress. It's pretty good, though. It needs a wash. He's actually in quite nice condition, even though he's so filthy. I think a good wash, and he'd come out pristine. A little bit rattling, but not too bad, and his action still works. So that's pretty good. So very happy with that. So there's another Thundercat. Let's just come around and you can... I'm in the band! So there we go. Um, now, the next few things are not Thundercats. Actually, let me just check in this box, because I think I might... Oh, <laughs> got more Thundercats. Thunder, 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 thundercats. I got Crum, or Crum, or Crum the Destroyer, whatever you call him. Um, I already have this guy. These ones are in really bad condition. His action is broken. Um, the guy who sold me these, he didn't really, he said that he tried them all and one of the actions didn't work. Well, I can tell you now, most of them, none of the actions work and they're in a really bad condition. I mean, they work, but it's, it's barely, barely. See, actually that one works fine now. <laughs> the guy might have had a point. Anyway, so that's him. I've already got that guy, so I'll be reselling him, no doubt. Uh, then I've got a Panthro as well. He's in quite good nick. Um, probably my favourite Thundercat Panthro. 
I really want the Mezco one. Um, I've recently purchased, um, and it's on its way to me, the Mezco Chitara, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive with the um, glow in the dark eyes. Uh, that should be with me next week sometime. Um, but I really like the Mezcos. I really, really want Panthro. So, but he's just super expensive, um, and I can't seem to find him in the UK. But uh, I'll keep looking. Uh, but at the moment, I've got this guy. I've, I've got a few of this guy, but this guy's in really nice nick. So, good times. There we go. Uh, then I got this guy, Monkeyan, is it? Monkeyan or something like that. He's got action works fine. Bit of a crushed nose. I don't know if you can see that. We'll zoom in a wee bit. There you go. His nose is a little bit sort of... It's like someone's bit his nose off. <laughs> Probably that mouse. But anyway, that's him. He's very loose too. I mean, he's he looks he's permanently standing like that. You can't stand him up. It's like oh, the boys that agree. Oh, he's had a few beers. Uh, and then uh, last two Thundercats. No, they've got three actually. This guy who's also got the maraca. This guy does too. Uh, so these two. Uh, unfortunately, I can never seem to get this guy in really good condition. If we have a look at his legs, it seems, I don't know if this is a common thing, but he seems to, his bottom half of his legs always seem to have this kind of green stain on him, and I can't seem to get it off. This is the third one I've had like this. Uh, I'm not sure what, why, if anyone knows, let me know, that'd be great. Uh, so that's him, but I'll be selling him on because he's not in the best of his condition, but I do need that guy. Uh, and this guy... I've already got him. I could army build them, but my shelf space won't allow me to do that. So I have this two of these guys now complete, both with guns. I might keep him just to... So, no. I've got them both with weapons, so I might keep him. So that's pretty cool. So there you go, folks. That's all my Thundercats that I've recently picked up. Um, quite a selection. Quite a selection indeed. So we'll just shunt these over to the side because I have a lot more to show you and time is ticking on. So just here just off camera just off shot should we leave his legs in why not now nah, let's not do that it's very unprofessional there we go his legs still in it there we go right and the other thing oh one more thundercat tiger now this guy was covered in red paint he was in an absolute state uh, i managed to clean him up he looks not bad now but i mean he's now nah, he's not great so uh yeah he's not in good nick i will be moving him on but that was another one i got so that's cool now the next few things are, I got a few, I've been to one car boot last week and I picked up some things uh, just, just for a laugh really. Um, first up, I picked up these two trolls. Um, I remember trolls, when I was younger I had a huge troll collection. They weren't these ones, they were the older ones, uh, but you know, I saw these in a the bag. It was these two um, plus this wee pencil topper, uh, it was a quid. So I was like, oh there was something else in the bag. Was that it? I think that might be it, it was a quid. I was like, yeah, why not? Let's have them. Bit of nostalgia. So, yeah, pretty chuffed with those. I do like the trolls. They're pretty cute. Uh, so that's those. Uh, then we also picked up... Now, the, ah, this was in the bag. Now, I think this could be the Joker's, 90s Joker's hat. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it out yet. But I'm pretty sure that's the hat for him. So, if that is, that's a really good find. And that was in the bag with the trolls. So, hmm, don't know. Pretty cool though. Um, then we got a couple of Power Rangers that were in that in a bag, 50 pence each. Uh, there's this blue one and this blue one. Um, yeah, this one's in Great Nick, and this one is in also Great Nick. So really, really cool. Uh, they'll go into the Power Rangers box. So that's awesome. Um, then, 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 we scored some vintage goodness. I'll just move those over there. Yes, there's a lot to get through. In fact, before we show you the vintage goodness, we'll just show you some of the other sort of random bits. We've got this guy. This was in another job lot, which is one of those speaker guys. You press a button and he goes, uh, Hello! <laughs> Come round to mine for tea! That type of thing. He just says a lot of shite uh, about blowing stuff up and attacking. But obviously his batteries are not working anymore. But still, a voice, a voice commander or something like that. You know the drill. Uh, then I got this one, a Power Ranger, which is, uh, what was her name again? Kimberly. Oh, the lovely Kimberly. Uh, and then she's like, oh, it's morphing time! When she turns into the Power Ranger and goes and fights putties. So that's her. 
Uh, this little knockoff transformer is made by Imperial China. Just a wee knockoff minibot thing. Um, based on an, an actual um, minibot. So, I can't, Micromaster, what do you call them? I can't remember. Uh, but that's that. So that's pretty cool. A, a red Dalek, which I have no interest in whatsoever. So I don't know if my good friend Gary would be interested in that. It's quite a cheap made one. It's quite hollow plastic. Oh, it, it moves. You pull it back and it fucking goes. There you go. So that, that's that. Super duper. Uh, then a couple of guys. This is the campest pirate figure I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> I think he must have been on the kind of B-52's YMCA boat uh, pirate ship. Young man. <laughs> they all prance around dancing about. Oh no, we don't plunder. We just dance. Yeah. So that's him. Uh, with his kind of night hat on, like he's about to go to bed in the 1950s uh, with his candlestick. Oh, I'm off to bed. So that's him. Uh, and then here's Pal, another guy from the YMCA boat. Uh, <laughs> Check me out. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a pretty buff son of a gun. Um, not sure what he's from. Uh, no marks on him at all. So some sort of knockoff, but he's got a bit of articulation. Um, it's actually quite a cool figure, to be honest, uh, even though he is camp as a row of tents. But uh, there, you go. there you go. Uh, a new Adventures of Dungeons & Dragons chap. Needs clean as well. But I, I seem to always get him in job lots. Um, a Supernatural. He's pretty cool. With his... Uh, oh, look at that. You can see that quite well, can't you? It's hologram. So that's, that's nice. I've had this one previously too. Not a big fan of them, so that'll be moved on. And a Britain's kind of space truck thing, or space buggy. Uh, that's pretty nice. That's from 1982. I, I had a few of these as a kid, so I do remember them. But as I say, that'll probably get moved on, unless anybody else is interested in that. I don't know if my good friend Carboot Collectors collects these. He does collect quite a lot of stuff, vintage. Uh, I don't know if he'd be interested in that. If not, pal, it's not a problem. Uh, so, oh, and this little thing too. No idea about that. Uh, on the back it says, Croco, Croco London W4 China. Not a scoop. So if anybody knows what that's for, then let me know. So there you go, folks. Oh, no, we're still we're still trucking on. I forgot about these things. Uh, I picked up this guy, which is the King Arthur and the Knights of Justice uh, bad guy. I only got him for the cape. Um, that's why I bid on a lot, actually, because I need the cape. I've got the complete figure, so it's really nice. It's kind of a leathery feel on the back. It's really, really cool. So, yeah, chuff with that. I also picked up, in the same lot with him, another King Arthur and the Knights of Justice figure. This guy, unfortunately, is missing his helmet, uh, but he does have his crossbow intact. So that's cool. That's another one to add to the collection because I never had this guy. So very happy with him. Um, then I got some vintage goodness. Uh, basically, I'll show you this. I got this card artwork for the Defenders. Defenders of the Earth! Which is the Flash Gordon card back. Um, it shows you all the figures. I've got them all. And I've got the Skullcopter. Uh, but basically it was just to... Uh, to get this card art because I've never never had a card art I've never had a carded uh, Defense of the Earth figure um, I always look out for them but they go for silly money so that was quite a cool one Flash Gordon if I can get a sort of bubble I might kind of put my Flash Gordon on there you know pretty cool uh, so that's that and then I got Flash Gordon with his sword and um, already owned this chap as well so it's still pretty cool to have his accessory so that's awesome and um, I also got Mandrake the Magician with a gun. I don't think this is his gun, but it is a Defenders of the Earth gun, which is awesome, which is what I needed. I need the, the weapons are pretty hard to track down. And then my all-time favorite is the Phantom. Uh, picked him up as well. Uh, very cheap, that lot. Very, very cheap. So I was over the moon with that. Um, and then these are this is a collection that I've, I've been trying to sort of track down the figures for, and it is Battlestar Galactica. I got this guy uh, with his kind of capey skirt thing. So I was very happy to have him. Didn't have this figure, so that's cool. Um, also, one of these guys. Uh, you can army build these, so that's another one to add to the army of two. <laughs> Not really an army, more like a couple. <laughs> so, But still, you've got to start somewhere. So that's him. 
And uh, Adama. Adama. The, uh, I have him already, but somebody had drawn pen in his eyes. This one is in really nice condition. I mean, for a head sculpt, for that old, I mean, they're pretty old figures. I don't know if it's going to focus, is it? Probably not. Maybe a bit close. There you go. Look at that for a head sculpt. It's pretty awesome, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. So there you go, folks. There's my box of toots. Uh, this has gone on quite a long time. <laughs> Apologies for that. Um, I will do another video in the coming weeks. Uh, I'm going to do my Visionaries collection update. Um, I'm also going to do my Star Wars uh, vehicles update. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed perusing the toot. Bit of help required on some of them. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.